there's this idea of, of in psychology of what's called infant amnesia. And it's that babies don't really have any episodic memory. And I actually in, encountered this as a, as a child. I remember I was, I don't know, seven or eight or something like that. And I asked my mom about her oldest memory. And I was, I didn't understand at the time how she could remember decades of her childhood, but as an eight-year-old or whatever it was, I couldn't remember being two, Mm -hmm. right? And I was thinking, well, that's only six years. How is it that after six years, I can't, that's too far back to remember, but my mother could remember back multiple decades. How, How would that sort of thing work? And I think one of the explanations to infant amnesia might be this idea of representation, that without language, right, we install language into children between the ages of one and two and so on. And without that framework, it would be nearly impossible to have an episodic memory system without having a labeling system, right? And so when I can say, oh, that nice dinner we had w- yesterday with Jacob, I'm, I have a label, right? And, and with that label, you can reference this experience and we can say, oh, that was an episode and, and I remember that. But how would you refer to it? In the space of all possible mental states without a language system, which is like the Dewey Decibel catalog, Without having this card, I can go, that's the one I mean. What would, there would be no meaning to that experience. 